My name is Graziele da Silva. I am a grad student at the plant pathology department and I'm working with Dr. Darren Mueller and Dr. Leonor Leandro. Our research focus is on the effect of cover crops on soybean seedling and root rot diseases. There are many reasons of why cover crops have been implemented, mainly because of soil erosion and nitrogen uptake. However, the land dedicated for cover crops is still small and one of the reasons for that is because there are a lot of concern about the reduction of the yield of the next main crop and that can happen because of plant diseases. So because of that we are studying the effect of cover crops on soybean diseases. In the summer of 2015 we made good progress in our research. We used two field trials where we had long-term cereal rye that was used as cover crop. And we made some assessments on soybean that included um, soybean stand count, root rot severity. We also evaluated soybean yield, um, plant height, and also canopy reflectance that was used uh, by a handheld radiometer. And after all, we got promising results from this year and from these, these locations that uh, is indicating that the cereal rye doesn't, do, doesn't enhance soybean diseases and also the soybean is not uh, impacted by the, the cover crop. We're evaluating the cover crop host range for Pythium sylvaticum and Fusarium oxysperum. So we have some experiments in the greenhouse and also in the lab. And we are using 17 different cover crop species. And we already got some results and it seems that there are some species that are non-hosts for these pathogens. However, we, we need more research to, to draw a more conclusive result. Some of these species we planted uh, in the field in 2015 after the soybean harvest and for this year 2016 we are going to plant soybean and evaluate the what the, these cover crops did to the diseases on, on soybean. I'm delighted to work in this project because we are addressing questions that can be directly used by farmers and growers and they are our motivators and also the reason that we develop research. We are also helping the community in general because of the benefits that cover crop can bring, like environmental benefits. I'd like to give special thanks for our funding agencies, United Soybean Board and USDA, that made this project possible.